So which rate is the sentient crank? Uh, well, that is a good question. Because that is something we should have taken into consideration. We just assumed that since it would have a pulley mount, ooh. Um, that goes the right way. Jason and I are starting off this Gator project upload by putting the engine in its place and then fabricating the frame around it. It already looks like we gotta do some fabricating. We gotta cut all this out, it looks like. Today we have a lot to accomplish on the Gator today. I'm going to do one step at a time. I don't want to talk about too much of the future. We want to talk about now, the present, otherwise I get myself in trouble just like yesterday. Yesterday I said I was going to work on the Duramax. Never worked on the Duramax. You guys have me brainwashed to do the Gator instead of the Duramax. I spent my whole day working on the Gator for you instead of repairing the vehicle that I drive every single day. You guys should feel privileged. Jason is going to cut the lines that I have marked on the gator. We are gonna cut this, this whole assembly out. These two right here, this bracket coming down here. I have one line there, one line on the other side. Basically, we're gonna take the whole seat assembly out so that this engine can slide down under. We need to hook up this clutch to that clutch using this belt, so it all has to be in line. Right now we don't have the clearances. You can obviously see that the oil fill plug is going to hit that, and the intake doesn't even have an air filter on it yet, and it's going to hit that. The trickiest shot for you. Great! I don't like tricky shots. Oh yeah, this is wonderful. This tool is not applicable for this area. We need an angle grinder. Otherwise, I'm gonna be swearing. YouTube doesn't like when you start swearing. They start demonetizing you. How else are we gonna pay for the Gator Project? Uh, that's the only joint left and the rest of them are... I got a little pressure on them, but not bad. I just don't want it to pinch the... Pinch the wheel and shatter it. Exactly. So what the hell's gonna happen? Just keep your face out of the way. This is what we were trying to make. The Gator engine is finally installed. It's finally bolted down. It's not going anywhere. We are currently building an exhaust system for this thing. How we're gonna do it is we're gonna run an exhaust from the front port here around the engine. Try to avoid the belt so we don't heat up the belt or anything like that. I don't know if you're gonna understand the rest of the explanation, so I'll just stop it there. But basically, we're going to run one stack. Um, is it considered a stack if it comes out the back? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to show them what, what we want to do? What we want to accomplish here? We want to put it out the back, which looks extremely badass. Extremely badass. Be about that high. Unfortunately, my TIG welder isn't completely assembled. I had the instructions, I lost the instructions, figures, 3D machines, loses and screws up everything. Chaos is a daily routine here. It's, it, that's how it is. So I'm gonna have to MIG weld all this stuff. Luckily though, this is pretty decent thick stuff. And then once the exhaust is ran, things start getting extremely exciting because then we get to start it up. I wanna start this thing up. I wanna see this thing move at least a foot or two today. Jason, are we gonna see this thing move a foot or two today? We're, we're riding on you. If we get the frame back on you. Oh yeah. 
like Jason said, this thing is gonna be like a banana if we don't put the framing on, so we have to do that as well. Fingers are crossed, fingers are crossed. Cross your fingers right now, please. As you can see, we have an S curve right here for the front exhaust. And for the back exhaust, we're going to have, well, Jason will show you in about two seconds. Then it'll go right there, and then somehow join into our final pipe, which is right there. It's looking cool. It's gonna stay out of the way of the driver's legs. It's gonna stay away from the belt so it doesn't melt. It's gonna stay away from the frame so it doesn't melt the frame paint. Remember, there's gonna be a frame going on top of here. When are you ever gonna take it off though? You're probably not, but if you ever do, if you ever do take it off, you can take the flange off, and then you can rock this up this way and slide it over that way, and then pull it off. We're excited to say that the exhaust is completely mocked up. Not welded, but mocked up. This is the final exhaust product before it's completely welded. What's that exhaust off of? What kind of bike? Uh, it was a Suzuki GT250, 1978. All right, so one of the, well, that. Mm -hmm. We drop that up. We got a mount back here. Now I'm just gonna pinch this together, weld that all up, and then just finalize everything here. That looks pretty sick. That's awesome. Look at that. They're welded over here, though, buddy. Huh? They're welded over here. Check it out. She's gonna sound good. Instagram time? Instagram. Now we are gonna get ready for the startup and the first sound of the new exhaust. in here but it's also a beautiful sight and it's a beautiful sound and I'm loving it. Listen to that idol. I love that. Uh, how do we kill this pig? Yes! Good job Jason. Team Machine! <laughs> The gator sounds good, it leaks a little bit of oil. We put some hose clamps on there to hopefully prevent that for now. Jason says it's the best sounding lawnmower he's ever heard because it's originally a lawnmower engine, but we souped it up, we cleaned her out, we made her brand new, made it froggy fresh. And she does sound damn good. I asked you guys yesterday if I should take it out for a test trip before we supercharge it. We will end up doing that. Uh, there's a lot more fabricating to do before we can take it out. I gotta remodify the seat, put that bracket back in there because right now it's just kind of like a, what flexes? It's like bamboo. The Gator's turning heads right now. It's going to turn more heads in the future. If you want to turn your heads yourself, pick up some machine merch. The links are in the description. We have the cleanest and comfiest merch in the game. We also got the machine decals. We also got the Team 3D Machine sticker and the Brad Cast decal. The Gator is looking like lightning and sounding like thunder. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until next time, be a machine, be good. I'll see you guys later.